Well, church, it is a privilege to be with you this morning to observe and celebrate another baptism. And this morning, uh, we will be celebrating the baptism of Ivy Merle. Ivy has placed her faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, and, and she desires this morning to make that faith known to this church, uh, to seek to become a, a member in this body at First Baptist Pollock uh, through baptism and her confession of faith. It is such a privilege to be able to lead young souls to the Lord and to see them grow in their faith. And I look forward to many years of Ivy growing up in our church and seeing how the Lord uses her in years to come. What a blessing and privilege it is uh, to see such a, such a young one uh, begin to follow Jesus. This morning as we observe baptism, I do want to uh, remind you of what baptism is all about and what it means. Uh, when we observe baptism, we do not believe that the waters of baptism are what take away our sin. We do not believe that baptism in water is what saves us. Rather, we believe that what saves us is when God baptizes us with the Holy Spirit, when we place our faith in Christ and the Holy Spirit changes us from the inside out, that we would turn from our sin and follow Christ. Ivy has turned from her sin and placed her faith in Jesus. God has changed her from the inside out. And what the baptism today shows is what God has already done in her life. That God has already washed away her sins. That she has been buried with Christ and raised to walk in a new life to follow Jesus. So Ivy, this morning, if you will turn just like this. Ivy, because of your repentance from sin and your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Buried with him in baptism. Hold your nose. Hold your nose and hold your breath. Okay, just be a second. Buried with him in baptism. And raised to walk in the newness of life. 